Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 2.2, 2.3, number 17. All right, so uh, we want to find the vertex form of this function. All right, so let's do that first. All right, so first thing we do is uh, try to separate the uh, first two terms. So we have x squared minus uh, 8x. Uh, from the uh, last term, so I'm going to put the plus 7 right at the end and give a little bit of space there. All right, then we have to uh, figure out uh, the third term we need uh, to uh, complete the square. So we take this number, right, and divide by 2, then square that. So that's going to be uh, negative 4 squared so it's going to be 16 so we're going to add 16 there then we're going to subtract 16 right away all right so we can group uh first three terms together because we can uh, complete the square using those three terms so x squared minus 8x plus 16 all right then we can combine 16 plus 7, so that's going to be negative 9. Sorry, negative 16 plus 7, negative 9. All right, complete the square. Uh, so we know that it's a quantity x. All right, just one half of this number, so it's negative 4. All right, quantity squared minus 9. All right, so let's put that in. I go back to that, right? So that's uh, parenthesis x minus 4 squared minus 9, right? So let's check the answer, right? Got that correctly, right? Now we want to find the uh, y intercept. So let's find the y intercept. Um, so go back here. So part a. So part A, right, if you want to find the y intercept, y intercept, remember that uh, we're going to set x equals to 0, right? So here's a, we just have to find the s of 0, All right? So that's going to be, so every time you see x, we put 0. So you have 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 7. All right, obviously this is 0. Right, 0 squared is 0. Eight, negative 8 times 0 is 0. So you just get positive 7. All right, so y intercept is 7. So put that in. All right, check. All right, got that correctly. All right, state the x-intercepts. All right, so find x-intercepts. So if you want to find uh, x-intercepts, right, so we're going to set uh, y equal to 0, right, which means that to set the whole function equal to 0. So easy one to look at is probably, I'm going to use this guy since it's just the same thing as f, s of x. So I'm going to set the uh, quantity x minus 4 squared minus 9 equal to 0. All right. Then try to solve for uh, x. All right. So first thing we do is uh, try to uh, eliminate uh, negative 9 by add adding 9. Right, so you will get uh, quantity x minus 4 squared. Right, so it's going to be equal to 9. Right, then uh, we can um, take the square root of both sides so that we can take, you know, get rid of the square. So you have uh, x minus 4 is equal to, right, square root of 9 is 3. But you have to make sure that you consider the positive one and a negative one. So plus or minus three, right? So what you give you by adding four, right? So x is going to be equal to 
positive 3 plus 4 is 7. Right? So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. Right? So it's 1 on 7. So let's go back and put it in. Right? So all x intercepts are right, 1 and uh, 7. Right? See if uh, they like that answer. Right? So we got that. Right? Then vertex. All right? So go back to um, the notes. Right? Vertex form is here. So part B. The vertex is going to be, all right, so we know how to find it. Uh, since this is negative 4, so a positive 4 is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and negative 9, so y-coordinate is simply negative 9. So 4 comma negative 9, so let's go back, all right, so it's uh, 4 comma negative 9. All right, so let's check. All right, got that. All right, then we want to find does the function have maximum uh, or minimum. All right, so we need to pay attention to the leading coefficient. All right, so in this case, the leading coefficient is positive, which means that um, a parabola is going to be facing up. So we're talking about, uh, you know, so maybe I should say leading coefficient A is positive, which means that the uh, parabola is facing up. So it looks like this. So you can see that at the vertex, it's going to have a minimum, right? All right, so let's go back and uh, type in. So maximum or minimum, All right? To check that, All right? We got that correctly. All right, so maximum minimum value is uh, mac minimum occurs at the vertex, vertex is 4 comma negative 9, so negative 9 is the minimum value. So minimum is going to be equal to um, f of, uh, sorry, s of, s of 4 is equal to negative 9, All right? So minimum value is negative 9, so let's type that in, negative 9, and check that. All right, we got that. All right, the range is, since the minimum is 9, so it's 9 and above, so it's going to be a square bracket, uh, negative 9. Then anything above, so just put the uh, infinity. And then parentheses. All right, let's check that. All right. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.